Coming up in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a massive story about an AEW talent who is leaving the company. And yes, we are going to talk about WWE running it back one more time, Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what to expect from that. And we are gonna talk about a former WWE ring announcer joining Ring of Honor. Yeah, it's all happening in this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned with the timestamps in the description down below. All right, so here's the thing, guys. We're going to kick things off. We're going to talk about Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. If you guys didn't know, WWE is building the road to WrestleMania, and they are trying to utilize house shows in a way that is going to help benefit the company. We're talking about creating hype. We're talking about ticket sales. We're talking about pay-per-views. I mean, we're literally talking about WWE trying to use this upcoming house show as a way to get more interest in pro wrestling and yes the best part is roman reigns will be making a rare a rare appearance at a wwe live event on march 4th at the coca-cola coliseum in toronto canada now originally wwe advertised roman reigns teaming with solo sokoa uh, against Sami Zayn and kevin owens however triple h and the wwe have actually decided to do something a little bit different because it's been announced that the tribal chief will be doing a one-on-one -on -one match with Sami Zayn. And yes, the Undisputed Universal Championship is on the line. Why is WWE doing this? Very good question. Well, it appears, obviously, WWE is trying to build more excitement going into WrestleMania. Also, uh, Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns are drawing pretty damn well. The ratings, the merchandise sales, I mean, it is a very big storyline. And therefore, WWE is trying to capitalize on it. And of course, with a big matchup like this, you should expect a very good amount of tickets being sold for this live event. So uh, will WWE film digital exclusive content there? I sure hope so. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. We're still waiting to see what happens with Kevin Owens coming back with Sami Zayn. Uh, but obviously, this is something to definitely pay attention to because it actually could. For once, a house show could very well impact a WrestleMania. So let's see what happens. Uh, guys, let's talk about Tony Chimmel. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about Tony Chimmel because, well, Tony Chimmel uh, was working the Ring of Honor tapings, not as the ring announcer, though. In fact, he was working the tapings as the MC of the event. And I don't know how this all came about, to be honest with you. I thought it was quite random. Obviously, we all know Tony Chimmel used to work for WWE, a longtime ring announcer for WWE, and he also did various other things for the company. But now Tony Khan has brought him in to be the MC for Ring of Honor. If you guys don't know what the MC is, typically an MC is utilized across the show tapings, uh, not to be seen on camera, not to be part of like the actual show, um, but maybe any announcements throughout the tapings or whatever it is that ROH and Tony Khan are trying to do. Tony Chimmel is the one who's basically going to communicate it to the crowd. Um, this is a very interesting thing to see that, you know, Tony Chimmel went from ring announcing to emceeing a uh, event for Tony Khan and Ring of Honor. But, you know, I, I always thought Tony Chimmel was a really good, you know, ring announcer. And I think if you're Tony Khan and you got obviously, you know, you got Bobby Cruz doing the, the ring announcing for ROH, which is fine. Uh, I, I feel like Tony Khan did a really good job of, of providing a job for a lot of the people in ROH who weren't necessarily sure if they'd be able to have a job, right? Um, and Tony Khan does, he he has to get props for that um, because at the point at that point, he's putting food on those people's tables and their family's tables and stuff like that. So, um, but it would be interesting to see if AEW or Ring of Honor would bring in Tony Chimmel for something much more than being an MC for the tapings. Uh, Tony Chimmel, in my opinion, was one of the best ring announcers. I thought he was really, really good. Uh, I, I think there is something really special about listening to Tony Chimmel say rated R superstar. I know that's random, not trying to get off topic. My point is, uh, this could be a potential bridge to something in the future with ring of honor or with AEW and who knows what will happen. You know what I mean? I think Tony Khan bringing in Tony Chimmel could be a really good thing for the dynamite product. Um, you know, I think Justin Roberts is okay. I, I don't think he's the best, but, um, I, I don't think he's terrible. Uh, I, you know, I think ring announcers can definitely do a good job of building excitement towards a match. We've seen that with, uh, you know, we've seen that with a lot of people throughout history. Um, and, and more recently with WWE, you know, you can tell there is a very big difference between Samantha Irvin and Mike Rome. And, um, you know, I think with Tony Khan, it, maybe between Rampage, maybe you put Justin Roberts on Rampage, maybe you put Tony Chimmel on uh, Dynamite, or better yet, maybe you can kind of take a 
uh, a little note from UFC who brings in Bruce Buffer for the big uh, pay-per-views. Maybe that's something that you do with Tony Chimmel as well. Guys, nonetheless, Fightful Select has reported some major news. Vicky Guerrero is leaving AEW. According to Fightful Select, uh, Righteous Reg, uh, he actually, they dropped the news today that AEW manager Vicky Guerrero is set to leave the company. It was noted that Vicky and AEW have agreed to not renew her contract, which expires in July 2023. Uh, for those who don't remember, Vicky Guerrero joined AEW in December of 2019. Uh, and obviously, most of her experience with AEW was managing Nyla Rose. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting. I don't think this is going to hurt AEW, obviously. I think Vicky Guerrero is actually an entertaining performer. You know, her job is to be annoying. Uh, her job is to be a heel. And I think she does a good job with that. And... Uh, you know, why did AEW and why did Vicky Guerrero decide not to resign? Like, that's a really big question mark here. Again, it doesn't impact AEW. It doesn't hurt AEW. This is not going to be a big blow to AEW. For all we know, this could have been something where Vicky Guerrero personally just wants to do something else. Maybe she wants to go to WWE. Maybe this is a situation where AEW just wants to move on. Maybe they just don't feel like it's working. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think there's anything wrong with this story. Um, but of course, you know, I think Vicky Guerrero was cool. Like I thought like it kind of worked on television. I think it kind of did what it was supposed to do. And I think when there's news stories like this that come out, I think a lot of people's first reaction is to think negative. But um, I mean, just it's just the natural state of uh, of AEW. And, and I think, uh, you know, when you look at Nyla Rose, she's not necessarily being pushed either. So it it's not one of those things where I think there should be a concern if that makes sense. But one thing that would be interesting is to see if Vicky Guerrero perhaps did decide to jump back to WWE. Obviously WWE has a lot of talent that can utilize a mouthpiece. Uh, it could be very interesting to see what would happen in, in that situation. Or maybe this is Vicky Guerrero just leaving the wrestling business altogether. Um, but ultimately I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what happens. July, 2023 is when her contract expires. It's February 27th. So it's very, very soon. Uh, or it's not, it's not very soon until her contract actually, you know, re expires. So the fact that the decision has been made now, um, basically tells me that it was mutual, right? And uh, I think that's all that really matters. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys all watching today's video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, just maybe you would consider clicking subscribe for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.